Let's get some positivity out there. Let's have, a, let's have a fun video that talks about the highest fat, lowest carb nuts that you can consume on a ketogenic diet. So here's the thing, I'm not doing this just for fun and glory. The fact is, a lot of times when we're just munching on any kind of mixed nuts or anything like that, we're getting in way too many carbs, but we're also not getting enough of the quality fat. So it's all about the ratio, right? It's all about how much fat and how little carbs. So rather than just saying the best nuts on a ketogenic diet or the best nuts for this or that, let's talk about the truest high fat, lowest carb nuts. Because I see a lot of people going around munching on things like cashews that have way too many carbs and not enough fat, and it's really just messing up their whole ketogenic style. It's just cramping their style. So let's go ahead and let's break this down and talk about all kinds of high fat, low carb nuts. You are tuned into the internet's leading performance, nutrition, and fat loss channel with new videos every single Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday at 7 a.m. Pacific time and a bunch of other videos throughout the week as well. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss a beat. And then also, there's a little bell button, there's a little bell icon. I want you to hit that button and turn on notifications. That way you know whenever I post a new video or whenever I go live, so you're never missing a beat. So all the research that we're bringing to you, you're never gonna miss. All right, let's go ahead and let's dive right in. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna break down the benefits of these nuts, the actual macronutrient profiles, and then I'm gonna tell you where you can usually find them. So first up is gonna be macadamia nuts. Okay, now, no surprise here. Okay, you're probably like, Thomas, come on. I know macadamia nuts are good, but let's talk about the breakdown for a second. Okay, macadamia nuts have about 21 grams of fat per ounce and about four grams of carbs per ounce. So that's a pretty darn good ratio there. A lot of fat, not a lot of carbs. But what is it about the macadamia nuts that makes them such a perfect keto nut? Well, the reality is they're super high in what's called omega-7s, okay? Omega-7s are a specific kind of fat that have some pretty interesting functions within the body. See, what they do is they protect the pancreatic beta cells. So they actually protect our cells from getting exposed to too much glucose. And in addition to that, they help uptake glucose properly. So literally, omega-7 fatty acids have been shown to double the glucose uptake within our cells, which means that any carbs that are coming in from your diet could end up getting stored in the way of muscle glycogen rather than just flowing through the bloodstream wreaking havoc. So it actually helps out our body and our insulin when it comes down to metabolizing carbs properly. So the Cleveland Clinic actually did a study that was pretty interesting. They took a group of test subjects and half of them they gave 220 milligrams of omega-7-2, and another group they gave a placebo to, and they measured some results over the course of 30 days. What they found after 30 days was those that consumed the omega-7s ended up having a 44% reduction in C-reactive protein. That's the main driver, the main indicator for systemic inflammation within the body. So the ketogenic diet is already anti-inflammatory. Add omega-7 into the mix, and you have a drastic modulation of inflammation. That is exactly what we are after on a keto diet. Now, additionally, they're super high in omega-9. Okay, omega-9s are known as oleic acid. What omega-9s do is help support what's called the myelin. Okay, we want to have a good support of the myelin because the myelin is sort of the outer layer of a nerve. It's called the myelin sheath. And if we have that fatty support of that nerve, we can send a signal to the muscles better. We can send a signal to other areas of our body. So it just makes us more active. It makes us more fluent. It's exactly what we want to have a nice, fluid, functional body. But it does one more thing that's pretty darn awesome too. It blocks what is called gamma aminobutyric acid reuptake, or GABA reuptake. GABA is what makes us feel calm in our brains, okay? It's, it's what we want. We want to feel satiated and calm so we're not jittery and antsy and munching on things, right? So if we block the reuptake of something, we're essentially blocking the recycling of it, which means the body's forced to produce more. If the body produces more, then we're more relaxed. So in this particular case, we don't want the body to be efficient with its GABA usage. We want it to produce more so we feel nice and calm and don't have the tendency to go munch on Doritos or Pop-Tarts. And when it comes down to getting your macadamia nuts, honestly, you can find them just about anywhere. Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, you name it. I usually recommend going for the roasted macadamia nuts just because they taste a little bit better. And generally, roasted macadamia nuts don't have to get heated to the same temperature that like almonds do, so you're not denaturing the fats nearly as much. They don't have the skin, so you're usually fine. So you can get them just about anywhere. Just try to get organic ones whenever you possibly can. All right, so next up, we've got Brazil nuts. Why the heck are Brazil nuts not more popular on the ketogenic diet? I think it's just because they're kind of unsightly and they have a lot of calories, right? You like eat one Brazil nut and you're already there. But the fact is they make the list quite dramatically. We're talking 19 grams of fat and only three and a half grams of carbs. That's a pretty darn good ratio. Okay, they have a bunch of the omega-7s, the bunch of the omega-9s, just like the macadamias do. They're really powerful with that, but they have some other things playing in favor. See, they're super high in very specific minerals that our bodies are generally deficient in. 
And just fun fact, when you're on a ketogenic diet, you're usually losing a lot of your minerals, okay? You're using the restroom a lot, you're peeing a lot, you're losing a lot of minerals. So you're losing a lot of the trace minerals. So in the case of Brazil nuts, we're talking about things like selenium. Okay, selenium is so critical for thyroid function. Okay, thyroid is everything when it comes down to our metabolism. So we need to support it with selenium. If we don't, then we run into a pretty big problem. The other thing is, is selenium inhibits nuclear factor kappa B, which is another pathway in which we have a lot of inflammation in our bodies. So again, when we end up losing a lot of selenium, we end up losing that inflammation blunting capability. But then, of course, selenium is also critical when it comes down to the creation of glutathione. Okay? Glutathione is our body's master antioxidant. If we don't have glutathione in the body, we're going to be constantly overrun by a bunch of free radicals. We do want to make sure that we're taking that into account. Okay? Then we have a high amount of choline. Choline is very important when it comes down to what's called synaptogenesis, creating new synapses, new brain connectivity. Okay, so this is very important. Again, when you're doing the ketogenic diet because you're trying to get more cognitive function, the last thing you want to really be missing out on is choline, which is the precursor to acetylcholine, ultimately traveling with acetylcoenzyme A, yada, yada, yada. Okay, and lastly, when it comes down to Brazil nuts, is the high amount of phosphorus. Very important for any kind of energy metabolism. You want to have energy when you work out on a keto diet? You need to be supplying your body with phosphorus. Think about it. ATP is our energy, right? Adenosine triphosphate, adenosine monophosphate. It's called the phosphorylation pathway because phosphorus molecules are added to these things. If we don't have the phosphorus molecules to add, energy can't be created. So remember, we don't want to become deficient in these minerals. We want to be repleting them whenever possible, and Brazil nuts are a nice, tasty way to do so. Brazil nuts, you're going to want to get raw. Uh, I usually don't recommend getting them out of the bulk bin section because the bulk bin section, they're going to be oxidized. You want them sealed, particularly with Brazil nuts because they don't have a shell, they don't have an outer layer that's really protecting them at all. Same as, you know, like almonds obviously have a little shell, little layer. So you want to get them in a sealed package whenever possible. You can find them just about anywhere. Now let's talk about one that's not talked about a whole lot, but is the clear-cut winner, the Peely Nut. 23 grams of fat, and get this, one gram of carb or less. 23 grams of fat, one gram of carb. We are talking the ultimate winner here when it comes down to high fat, low carb. So what the heck is the Peely Nut then? The Peely Nut is really interesting. It's a Filipino nut that grows from a plant that can only grow in really fertile volcanic soil. So it ends up having a high degree of minerals, a high degree of vitamins, but of course for the sake of keto, it's just a high fat, low carb nut that has an amazing, amazing taste. But the thing I like about peely nuts is they're not, they're not mechanically hard to digest. They're really buttery and really soft. There's such a high fat content that they just practically dissolve in your mouth. So they taste really good and they make amazing butters, they make amazing things like that simply because they're so smooth. Now, of course, they're going to have high amounts of omega-7 and omega-9, but more importantly, they have a lot of saturated fat in them. Not many nuts have a high amount of saturated fat. So peely nuts end up having between 8 and 10 grams of saturated fat per ounce, okay, and the rest of it being comprised mostly of the omega-7s and the omega-9s, which of course are very, very powerful for our bodies as well. But the saturated fats are critical on keto because that's what's going to feed our brains. Okay, plant-based saturated fats are great. Coconut oil, palm oil. Peely nut oil, okay, these are powerful. Supports our brain, but it also supports the myelin. Again, that outer layer of the nerve that allows us to send a signal to a muscle. So when you go to the gym and you're on a keto diet and you feel like you can't really work out very well, it's usually because you're not sending a good nerve signal simply because your dehydrated minerals are out of whack. But if you can support the myelin, support that nerve process, things will be a lot better. You'll be able to get more energy in the gym. So we know that peely nuts have a high amount of omega-9s in them too, and we know that omega-9s are good from the other nuts that I referenced. But when we're talking about the amount of omega-9s that are concentrated in peely nuts, we can find some really interesting stuff that's occurring. See, literally omega-9s can activate a fat-burning process by helping support the activation of the cyclic adenosine monophosphate pathway. So basically, by activating what's called the SIRT1 gene, we literally improve the oxidation of fat. It literally helps us flip the switch so that the body can use its own stored energy substrates. Literally, it's helping our body recognize that we don't have glucose, so we should burn fat. But there's another really interesting mineral that's not talked about a lot, and that's manganese. See, manganese is wild, because manganese has an effect on what's called the gluconeogenesis pathway. Now, of course, the peely nuts are super high in manganese, and the gluconeogenesis pathway is super powerful for our body, and it comes down to just energy metabolism. Basically, to make a long story short, what manganese does in this case is it helps the body create energy from exercise byproduct. Okay, so hear me out on this because I'm going to sound like a crazy person, but you can go and work out and create lactic acid and that lactic acid can get turned 
back into glucose that'll fill your brain. Literally, the byproduct of your exercise out of thin air can get created into energy. Okay, manganese makes that possible. So literally, the Peely Nut has the ability to help your body use its own fat for energy through two different pathways, through the omega-9 pathway, but also through the pathway of manganese and actually creating that process in the first place. Now, when it comes down to getting Peely Nuts, it's kind of hard to find them, and there's not a whole lot of options out there. So there is a company called Peely Hunters. They are the original, original Peely Nut. Okay? This guy, Jason, that I know personally that founded this company, brought Peely Nuts from the Philippines when he was out there on a kite surfing trip. So the guy knows the stuff, and he really is a thought leader behind the entire Peely Nut industry. So this guy is taking the world by storm, and obviously with Peely Nuts getting popular, he's starting to get popular too. So as a courtesy to my fans and followers, I've gone ahead and I've included a link down in the description so you can get your hands on some of the Peely Hunter Peely Nuts. Okay, they have Peely Nuts, they have Peely Nut Butter, they have like pumpkin spice flavored Peely Nut Butter. They're getting really creative. My favorite ones are the ones that are dusted in cacao, so really good tasting stuff. And honestly, the perfect ketogenic snack. We're talking a couple hundred calories of pure fat and practically no carbs, but it feels like you're eating something like, it's indescribable. It's like a buttery, crunchy nut. It's just really amazing. So anyway, check them out down in the description. That's probably one of the only places you're gonna find them because Peely Nuts are still pretty darn new. You're not gonna find them in the grocery store. So now let's get into the next one, walnuts. I could not leave walnuts out of the equation, all right? Walnuts are awesome. 18 grams of fat, four grams of carbs. Okay, so still pretty darn good, definitely making my list. The thing with walnuts is they're one of the only nuts that has a high amount of omega-3s. Most nuts don't have omega-3s. Most of them have a bunch of omega-6s, which is good and bad depending on the situation. But walnuts are a very powerful anti-inflammatory nut. Okay, we're talking about high levels of omega-3, which obviously are inflammation suppressing, but we're also talking about high levels of vitamin E, which directly stop inflammation as well. That's why you're supposed to take a vitamin E supplement. It's supposed to be good for inflammatory systems within the body. But additionally, walnuts have something known as butyrate. Okay, your butyric acid, the same kind of stuff you're gonna find in ghee butter and things like that. What butyric acid does is it feeds the actual cells within your gut. Okay, so it feeds those short chain fatty acids to the cells. So butyrate is a short chain fatty acid. Long story short, it helps support the cells within your gut, which therefore creates a link with your brain that actually helps you create a little bit more satiety in your life. So you're feeling like less hungry, things like that. But all in all, they're just a good tasty nut that you can eat. And walnuts you can find just about anywhere, but it's very, very important that you get raw walnuts. Because omega-3s are a polyunsaturated fat and they're very unstable, if they're roasted, then it's gonna denature them. So you wanna get walnuts in a raw form whenever possible. And you can find them just about anywhere. Again, stay away from the bulk section with the walnuts because they can oxidize a heck of a lot easier. So Peely nuts take the cake, followed by macadamia nuts, followed by Brazil nuts, followed by walnuts in terms of the highest fat, lowest carb nuts. And you can get your hands on those Peely nuts by clicking the link down in the description and supporting these guys who are paving the way for a new era of nuts and seeds. I will see you in the next video.